you begin to realize that blue light is a real problem and it's been picked by design to be in every screen, every device, because it's much easier to govern people in centralized systems who are blue light irradiated and have no idea that it's happening to them. And this light scopes our beliefs, it scopes our behavior, it scopes the life we get, uh, and it does it below our perception to realize truly what's happening. So the light of the transhumanist globalists uh, is blue light. Why? Because blue light does two things fundamentally to our system. It dumbs us down by altering two key uh, chemicals that react to light, which is dopamine and melatonin. This is the reason why you never see any computer screens, any phones, anything like that come with default settings that have either purple or red light associated with them. Because if you did that, then you would actually not be addicted to the technology that Apple, Microsoft, Google, Meta, uh, all have created. And the most valuable asset that a living creature has is time, it's not anything else. And when you're addicted to blue light technologies, they are actually stealing your time. And this is the reason why DARPA transferred patents to Google and to Meta, and they hold those patents to this very day. And those patents are used in just about every tech gear that's out there. So when you know this, what's your plan? Your plan should be to do what I'm doing. You sit at your house or you build a house that has no walls. That is out towards the AM sun. And you spend your time in there because that's where the purple and the red light is and there's not as much blue light, why? Because I seek and I seek people who want sovereignty, both in medicine, in money, their freedoms, life, liberty, and so that we can pursue happiness in a way that we're not encumbered by the state. I think that would be my answer. Thank you. The light blocking glasses that you can buy everywhere now, they have like an orange filter in or a red filter. Um, I guess my question, just to zoom out a little bit, is this artificial light, when it's hitting us, is it the danger as it's getting in our eyes, our skin, all of the above? Could you just break down, like, can we protect yeah. ourselves with the glasses or does it go much deeper than that? Yeah, the glasses only protect your eyes. You have to remember the two ways that we get energy and information in this wireless connection I told you is actually through our skin and our eyes. Up until 2009, really, the stuff that I was teaching people was really about the eyes, and that's why the glasses were a really big deal. But after 2009, 2014, but really 2017 is when the game changed, we found out that the blue light detector that's present in all of living things, but especially us, is now in our skin, our fat, sub-Q fat, in our arteries. It's the number one blue light detector in the human brain. That's when the game changed. That's when, when you're around artificial light, you need to protect all your body. And unfortunately, blue light actually has the capability of penetrating through some of your skin. Now, the glasses that you talked about, <clears throat> remember, all the glasses are what I would like to say uh, heterogeneous. They're, they don't block all blue light equivalent. So I tell my people I want their blue blockers to block from 400 to 550 nanometer light. Why? Because blue light effectively, what does it do? You know, to answer your first question, I told you melatonin is a big thing because that's what re recycles our engines. Well, blue light destroys melatonin production in mitochondria. So that means that's the agent of destruction. So obviously you want to put it over your eyes, but then it raises the question, because of the new data, we want to also do it on our skin and everywhere else, because if you don't, wherever the light interacts with you is actually going to reduce melatonin in that part of your body. That's the, you know, the shocking revelation of this science from 2009, 2014, and really the paper from 2017 really hammers the point home. And when you consider from, I would say, probably 1995 when all this data was transferred from DARPA to Google and Meta, <clears throat> you begin to realize that we've created, you know, 25-year history in, in humans where we're, we're being irradiated by an alien sun. And not only that, the other big issue, to get back to the Pink Floyd album cover, 
Technology also has another fundamental uh, change in our behavior that I, I think people don't realize. It brings us from outside in. You're actually subtracting yourself from nature, and anything that does that is actually an enemy of we the people. And, and the problem is we're, we're acting like Plato's allegory of the cave and helping them because we're all addicted to it, but realize the addiction is part of the whole blue light story because that lowers dopamine. Anything that lowers dopamine makes you more likely to obey.